All right, guys, it's Charlie Tango 1994 back with another YouTube video. Um, now it's the turn of the York 863, and um, I've done a previous video of uh, York 861. So if you look elsewhere on this channel, and I might put a link on on this video to it, uh, I've done a review of a of a different York rig to this, and uh, this one is slightly more. Uh, feature rich in that it's got a bunch of knobs and buttons on it which the uh, the 861 doesn't have um, this rig's in in pretty good condition but as you can see it's got a few signs of uh, of aging on it um, a bit of discoloration particularly on the uh, the RF gain there um, don't stop it from from working and uh, run it on for a little while today and uh, had some decent receive on it so no issue with that at all in fact, I think if we look, again, I think I'm getting quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of noise today because the needles are jumping, but uh, nothing's coming through. Just check the um, check the RF. Now I'm getting, getting, getting a good lump there. Uh, yeah, it's giving me um, sevens at the moment of uh, or fives and sevens of uh, of static. So. Uh, might be some atmospheric conditions. Anyway, back to the rig. Um, so yeah, as I say, bunch of knobs across the front. Uh, one of those kind of um, fully features rigs, if you like. So the volume and the squelch, and then you've got your RF gain, uh, and on the far side is your mic gain. Um, this one's got a dimmer on it as well. We've seen a couple of rigs like that. So uh, fully to the left is um, full brightness, and then you can turn down I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it is gradually getting dimmer. Um, the, uh, the the channel indicator gets brighter and dimmer as you adjust the dial. So again, for for night driving or whatever, that's um, that's one of the features. And I guess as well, we've said in other videos, might save a little bit of battery. Can't see that it would consume a huge amount of, of energy doing that. Um, so yeah, a bunch of dials across the front. Obviously the, uh, the the channel selector as well, and then uh, a bunch of switches. So you've got a three-way tone switch, low, medium, and high. Um, normal and what's it say there? Can't quite make it out. Uh, not sure what that is. Power ATT. So again, I might have to look that up. I haven't come across that before. Your uh, your normal channel nine selector. Uh, clear and normal, so again, that might be some kind of tone control. Your CB and your PA, uh, and then tone, plus and minus with a zero in the middle. A uh, tune, sorry. So I think for um, just slightly adjusting the frequency ever so slightly, if someone's on a rig that's that's slightly knocked out, then I think perhaps you can uh, you can adjust slightly to uh, to get a better signal or a, a clearer signal. Um, as I say, a nice little rig. We've looked at a number of rigs which I think are based on the same sort of board. Uh, the uh, the Harrier CBX. I think there's a Fidelity rig which is based on on, on the same thing, and um, one other which escapes me at the moment. But I believe that they're all based on the same kind of electronics. So um, the internals are are similar in all of those rigs. So if you've got if you've got a Harrier CBX or or one of the other ones, I think a Fidelity 200 it is, or a Fidelity 2000. Um, it's all it's all the same on the inside. Um, this one came with a pretty nice mic as well. Uh, difficult to sort of describe it to you, but the uh, a Palmer mic, but it's got a really hefty weight to it, and um, feels feels really nice in the hand. And the the PTT is um, the button on the side is uh, slightly different, so. Again, I think just a, a a different different design, but it really does stand out. And I have to say, because of the weight of it, it feels like a really nice microphone. It almost is a shame to let it go. I might actually hang on to this one and swap it for something else before I sell it. But anyway, um, this is the York 863. And uh, as I say, there's a link to a, uh, a York 861. Um, I'll stick on this. Uh, another great great rig um, 
some signs of age but not much I'll get this up and get it flogged probably 40 quid something like that 35 40 pound so um, if you're interested in buying it jump on my eBay I'll stick a link below as usual and uh, if you're interested in making a bid then do so all right men catch you in the next video cheers then